Thursday. I'm so excited because the thrift store has started putting out Halloween stuff. So I'm already getting my paws on some really cool stuff. Uh, I got three things this week, actually. And I'm going to definitely work on one for this week's coming Mixed Mediology Monday. Uh, the other one is going to take a lot longer, and I'll tell you why whenever I show it to you. But I am so excited about what I got this week. They had two of these side by side, and I was only going to get one, but then I was like, you know what, they're only a dollar, and I like them, so I'm going to get both of them. So what I got this week was the two big plastic pumpkins, and they have the hole in it so you can put a light, and there's also a hole up here. I guess for another light or whatever. <laughs> so I got both of these. Oh, yeah. And this is what I'm going to use for this week's Mixed Mediology Monday. Um, this one, the face on this one is a little bit more faded than the other one. But it doesn't really matter because what I'm going to do to it is completely... Ooh, I keep getting hit in the face. I'm going to completely redo it anyway. So I think I might leave these faces on there. And work on the back side but I haven't quite decided yet so I got those and then the other thing that I got was this it's just a glass dome oh and by the way I paid uh, 99 cents each for the pumpkin so I spent two dollars on these and then I got this clear glass dome for 75 cents and I'm going to do one of those DIY cloche, is it cloche? Cloche. Clotch. <laughs> I think it's cloche. Cloche. Yeah, I think it's cloche. Uh, you know, it's the little dome on top of a candle holder or something. Yeah, I'm going to do one of those with like some little scene up inside here like moss and maybe a skeleton or I, I don't know yet. But. It was 75 cents, and I've been wanting to do one of these, but I haven't found a good dome to use. This one was just too perfect to pass up. So uh, I'll be looking for a candle holder that I can use on this, or use this on, use for this. I'm going to look for a candle holder that I can make one of these with, <laughs> and I may show that as a project in the future, but I'm not sure yet. This is definitely not going to be on Mixed Mediology Monday because I don't have a candle holder and I don't have... Uh, the stuff to put up inside of it yet. So, But I did want to show you that I got that because I'm really excited about it. So I think that's it for this week's Thrift Shop Thursday. I wanted to show you quickly the finished project for last week's Mixed Mediology Monday. You can watch the full video process of this sweater pumpkin being made. And it's actually a mini class, so it's not just the high speed version of me making the project. I'm actually walking you through step by step how to do this, giving you extra little tips and suggestions and showing you exactly what to do. You can also ask me questions in the comment section below of any project that I do. Um, the end of the video is not the class portion though. The class portion is me showing you how to actually make the pumpkin. And then in the end of the video you see me just finish it up. So up here at the top, this is just raffia. And I wound it around part of the stem. And then I dyed it using Distress Stain. And I used Vintage Photo here. And then I also left part of the stem out because it just kept falling in this shape with the little fold here and it just kept looking like a leaf so I assumed it wanted to be a leaf and I turned it into one. So I just left the little fold right there as it was, left that part out of the twine and um, then I also dyed this with Distress Stain. I think it's peeled paint. I think that's the color that I used here. And then to get my raffia to curl, you see me like twirling it and then spritzing it with something. It's actually just hairspray. I sprayed it with hairspray and then hit it with the heat gun until it was nice and dry. I kept it closed with a bobby pin and then just kind of opened it up a little bit to get the twirly little spring effects here. So if you like what I do here, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you see that little share button down there? Click that and share this with all of your friends. You can also visit my blog, www.lifebytheseatofmypants.wordpress.com. All of the projects that you see on YouTube are also on my blog, as well as additional blog posts. 
And you can also find me all over the web. I'm on Facebook, I'm on Pinterest, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram. So look me up in those places, follow me, and I'll follow you back. I hope you enjoyed this week's Thrift Shop Thursday. Remember, you can always post questions in the comment section below. If you see something in the thrift store you'd like me to go back and find and work on, leave that in the comment section as well. And I love to hear what you have to say, so just leave me a little message and tell me how you liked it. All right, thanks so much for being here. I'll see you on Mixed Mediology Monday. Mwah. Bye! Friends, you can also visit my blog, which is www.lifebytheseatofmypants.wordpress.com. I upload all of my YouTube videos and give a little blog post with all of those. Plus, I also post other blog posts. Post other blog posts? <sighs> Okay. <clears throat> oh Lord, I didn't even put my bra on. <laughs> Shit. Do you ever do that? Like, you want to feel pretty, so you put your hair, you get your hair done, put your makeup on, but you're not really going anywhere, so why bother put a bra on? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay, that's a blooper. <clears throat>